going on, everybody? It's been a while. It's time to check out some movies, some upcoming movies, the top superhero movies of 2021, 2022, based on their release dates right now. Of course, they can easily be pushed back, but hopefully not. Oh, God, 2019, 2020 was nothing but pushbacks. So hopefully the rest of 2021 and all of 2022 should be absolutely loaded with huge hits because they're from 2019 and 20, just pushed back. Let's check them out. I'm expecting, of course, Venom 2. Um, hopefully the Batman they're, they're going to show here. Uh, Suicide Squad, maybe Black Adam with The Rock. Black Widow, of course. Let's see. Oh, oh man, if they had a trailer for the Spider-Man movie, I, I'm not sure. I don't think they have one yet, but if so, that would be dope. Let's check this out. <laughs> I say either. You guys say either. I say neither. And I say neither. Neither. Either. Neither. Neither. Let's call the whole thing off! Ta-da! Catch up! Excuse me? Yummy. I'll just say... I didn't hate the first Venom, but I didn't love it. I didn't at all. The special effects were, were kind of cheap looking. And Tom Hardy never felt like Venom. And Venom did this shit too much. Where he a comedy act. I'm hoping the second one doesn't do so much, but that didn't make me, so far, not excited. Not yet. We're better evening, than this, Marvel. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Function hi, Mrs. Chen. He says hi. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. I've been thinking about you, hey? Save us, Woody. It's the you and I are the same. Every decision we ever make. Who do we leave behind? And how do we leave them? Waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. It's been a long time. Miss you so much. The hair could be a problem. Soon come chaos. Chaos. Come. The chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen! No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. I'm just not excited, and that didn't that didn't help. This movie's gonna come down to basically how good is Woody Harrelson as the villain. That's it. If he if it turns out like Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, Luger L Lex Luthor, my bad. Uh, then this is going to just be a dud. But if he absolutely owns it and he doesn't feel so much like Woody Harrelson, then this could be really good. But it comes down to him, and at the moment, based on this, I'm not. I'm not excited. This feels like within five years, five six years, we're gonna have Venom be rebooted, like they did the uh, the, the Adam the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. They're just gonna reboot Venom after this movie, I would assume, with a new actor playing Venom and just restart. That's what it feels Super like. Villains. Sad. 
souls in costumes. Wanting you to think they're all dark and deep. What's it like? Living life as a punchline. But all it would take would be one blessed act of rebellion. For you to restore your dignity in its entirety. You know the deal. Complete the mission, you get 10 years off your sentence. Already, I'm, I'm more amped for this. Suicide Squad 2. And it's not just because it's Suicide Squad 2, or technically it's THE Suicide Squad. Kind of a reboot. Kind of, but kind of not. They, they've gone down a weird path here, but whatever. I didn't hate the first Suicide Squad. It was kind of like Venom. I didn't hate it, but it was humongous flaws. I probably liked the original Suicide Squad more than most people, but good lord, did it have problems. So, so many problems. We'll save that for a different day. But this one already, it just feels better. The casting is better. Will Smith had no business being dead shot. None at all. Will Smith is just, he's too Will Smith to be a side character. It just doesn't fit him. Idris Elba already way better. He just looks way better in the part. You fail to follow my orders in any way, and I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. Love him or hate him, these are your brothers and sisters for the next few days. Casting is way better. And? Yes, that is your hand. Very good. We're all gonna die. I hope so. Oh, for God's sake. That was funny. <laughs> this is suicide. Oh, that's kind of our thing. Nothing like a bloodbath to start the day. They call you peacemaker. I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. <laughs> You're a crazy one. I am. Whoa. Here's the deal. We fail the mission, you die. If we find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? No. Yeah, that one looks safe. That one looks like it's going to be good. I am definitely excited for that. That trailer gave me everything I wanted. And it's, of course, directed by James Gunn. He did the Guardians of the Galaxies. And you can you can feel it. You can feel he made that. Like, there's no Groot here, but Stallone as Shark, the, I can't remember his name, the Shark guy, the big Shark, is perfect. Like, that's basically his Groot. This is, this is going to be good. John Cena playing Peacemaker is perfect casting. The comedy there is going to be gold. Harley Quinn, of course, is perfect. She was perfect in the first one. Yeah. I'm excited. That's way better. That's the difference between a good director. A, a good director will make a huge difference. I tell people my sister moved out west. You're a science teacher. Your husband, he renovates houses. You're thinking about moving, but you're gonna wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. <laughs> Before I was an Avenger, I made mistakes. And a lot of enemies. His call signs Taskmaster. He controls the Red Room. They're manipulative, fully conscious, but no choices. I should have come back for you. How many others are there? Enough. We have 
to go back to where it all started. So they never do that to anyone again. We're a family. We fight with you. You won't win. I've always found it best. Not to look into the past. Okay, you got a plan or shall I just stay duck and cover? My plan was to drive us away. Well, your plan sucks. At some point, we all have to choose between what the world wants you to be and who you are. I made my choice. I'm done running. Here's what's gonna happen. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You're going to get the back hunch. Mm, listen to your mother. Oh my God, this- Up, up, listen. All right, enough, all of you. I didn't say anything. That's not fair. Okay. Will it be good? Yeah, probably. Probably. I, I trust anything in the Avengers storyline to be good. It's a prequel, but it's gonna be good. I... 2020, yeah, this really worked out for them. Push back. But anyway, uh, will it be good? Yes. Am I excited for it? No, not really. Like, I, I think this could have easily just not been made and the world would be fine without it. Like, Venom needs proper, a proper movie. We don't need a Black Widow origin story. We, she, she was kind of okay the way she was. And now that she's, like, dead... Her character's gone. Do we really need her back just for an origin story? I'm kind of good, you know what I mean? But the casting looks all right, and I guarantee the special effects will be good. They looked good there. I just, I'm just not excited. I don't need it. I don't need it. It feels kind of like a just a, a money grab. Like they're trying to get as many dollars out of the Avengers world they possibly can. Not excited. The Batman? Secret friend. Underneath the bridge. Who? Top a sprung a leak. And the animals I've trapped. Having a clue. All become my pet. Let's play a game. Just me and you. Any of this mean anything to you? You're becoming quite a celebrity. Why is he writing to you? If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance.
I wonder if it's still coming out 2021. Or did it also get pushed back? I don't know. If it is, I would assume late 2021. But no, this I cannot wait for. I am ridiculously excited. It's at 100%. Super excited for this. Robert Pattinson, I think, is a low-key perfect casting choice for Batman. He's not too big of a star. And he's the perfect age. When they did Ben Affleck... I knew that was a bad idea, not because of who Ben Affleck is, but because of his age. He wasn't going to do more than two, maybe three movies as Batman. And if you're doing a whole Justice League universe, you kind of need someone that's going to stick around. He wasn't going to do that. He just wasn't. But this is perfect. The guy who's playing the Riddler, also perfect. I can't remember his name, but he's from like the girl next door and there will be blood. He's going to be perfect as the Riddler. The only worrying part, the only thing, would be Colin Farrell as the Penguin? Like, there we only got a glimpse of him. Just a glimpse. But, I I could never have imagined that. Never. Like, Danny DeVito doing the Penguin back in the day? Kind of makes sense. He does naturally look kind of like a fucking Penguin. Colin Farrell doesn't look like a Penguin or Cobblepot. Neither of them. So the the thing just doesn't seem to make sense. But it could. But it could. So yeah, I'm extremely excited for this. I hope it comes out 2021, but probably it's coming out 2022. I'm amped. But that yeah, that one for sure excited. I love the dark vibe. Everything about it screams this is going to be good. Morbius, oh, I don't know. I've known you since you were a child. You have a gift. You always have. If there's an answer to the disease, you'll find it. I should have died years ago. still here if not to fix this i have a rare blood disease and i'm running out of time this could be my last chance you're up to something what is it that's not exactly legal i want to see you get hurt more than you already have this would be a cure What cost? Michael, what's happening? I went from dying. I feel like more alive than ever. Increased strength and speed. The ability to use echolocation and an overpowering urge to consume blood. How far are we allowed to go to fix something that's broken? Until the remedy. is worse than the disease. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? No! See, that actually helped. That helped a lot, because that shows they're clearly going to tie in the whole Spider-Man universe. See, that, that helped uh, a ton. A ton. 
Because the premise of Morbius is tough to pull off and not be a bad movie. It is. This could easily turn out the way of Tom Cruise in The Mummy. Jared Leto playing a vampire in a Mar in the Marvel Universe could easily just bomb. Because, you know, they're going to want to have some comedy. All of their movies have it in there. I don't see or really want to see Jared Leto as a vampire also being kind of comedy. Save that for Shazam or some shit. No, it just wouldn't. Just no. So I expect there's going to be some goofy side character that they usually have that's going to be doing the little bits and the little uh, comedic spots. So this, this is a coin flip. I don't know if it's going to be good, but I am kind of excited. I'm kind of excited. Kind of. Excited and worried at the, at the exact same time. But uh, seeing Keaton at the end helped. It helped. I hope he's in it more than just a cameo. I'll say that. I hope he's in it more than just a cameo. He would really help the movie. What do we got? What the I hell is this? Ten years to live your life. Now you see me rise. And where did that get you? I trained you so the most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you son it's time for you to take your place by my side I don't even know who that character is. I've heard the name before, but I still, I don't know who the character, don't know anything about him. But that looks like it's going to be good. That just looks like it's going to be good. And that's how you do a trailer about a character a lot of people have never heard of. I'm excited just from that trailer. And they got Aquafina in it. I think that was Aquafina as the bus driver there. She's hilarious. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Man. I never really thought about adding kind of like a, a, a kung fu element. Like, you could do so many Jackie Chan, like 80s Jackie Chan comedic uh, moments you could use with superheroes. Like, you really could. It, it, yeah, that's going to be good. Let's be, let's be honest, that's going to be good. I have no idea what his powers are, though, or anything about him. Does he even have powers? Or does he just kick a lot of asses? I, I have no idea. But yep, I'm excited. Sign me up. I love being with people. It's the most incredible thing in the world. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, this is nice. That world may change and evolve, but the one thing that will never change we're all part of one big family. We are Groot. That man next 
to you. He's your brother. That woman over there, she's your sister. Higher, further, faster, baby. That's right. We're all part of one universe. Wakanda forever! That moves ever upward and onward to greater glory. It, I guess that clip is called Phase Four. Say it, it looked like the Fantastic Four emblem at the end there. Don't know what we're doing right now. Don't know what we're doing right now. Calm down, everybody. But that I was hoping for like for more. I wanted to see some damn clips, some clips of Marvel Phase Four, like the of what's coming. We got some Black Widow, some stuff we already knew about. I didn't know they were doing another black, uh, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Didn't know they were doing another one of those. Doctor Strange, is that going to be another movie? Or is that going to, like, stream as a miniseries on Netflix or something? I'm assuming a movie. I'm assuming and hoping a movie. WandaVision and all that, cool, but I, I care more about film. I need it on the big screen. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. Like, that, that goes without saying. Who's not excited for every phase of Marvel? Have to. Until it tanks, which it's not going to tank anytime soon, I'm going to be excited. I'm amped. So let me know. What do you guys think of the upcoming big superhero movies of 2021 and 2022? I'm a little disappointed there was no Black Adam, though. The Rock just getting shafted like this. Like, what's the problem, huh? What's up? What's the issue? Huh? We have the Batman on here. No Shazam either, but I don't think Shazam 2 has a trailer yet. If it, yeah, I don't think it does. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty excited for these. For most of them. They're, uh, Venom, I'm worried about. Black Widow is going to be good, but I don't know if a ton of people are going to care like that. You know what I mean? A Black Widow prequel? Ah, I don't know. What'd you guys think? Overall, I am excited. Let me know if you are excited down below. Hit the like button. And I can't wait for the, for the movies to actually come out, finally. Because since they all got pushed back, who the hell knows how some of the production could go. It could easily turn out the way of uh, the New Mutants did. 
that thing got pushed back so many times, it was an utter disaster by the time it was released. God, they should just kept it. Just keep it. Just keep it. Once you once it was done and you watched it, don't don't release the theaters. Just keep it. Burn it. Restart in five years. Reshoot it. Throw it away. But yeah, I am excited, but slightly worried. Let me know how you feel down below. And if you are still here, then you are a real one. I don't know why I was going to do a salute. Probably from uh, seeing the Captain America and Peacemaker. You know, you get, you get patriotic.